Have you ever felt like your illustrations look too flat or simple? And do you want to transform them into professional eye-catching artwork? Don't worry, I have got you covered. Hey everyone, welcome back to day 12 or learning digital art. Today I'll share proven steps to make your artwork look more polished and professional. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced illustrator, these tips will instantly elevate your designs. Let's dive in. Before we fix it, let's quickly understand why flat illustrations often look dull. The main reasons are lack of depth, poor color choices and missing details. But don't worry, we will fix all of this step by step. Step 1. Change the overall color. In this step, absorb the artwork and make tweaks to improve it. For example, you can adjust the hairstyle, body position or expression etc. Also, choose a good color palette to enhance the overall look. In one of my previous videos, you can learn how to apply color correctly. First, we need to change the colors one by one and add a background colors. In the first step, we only need to do this. Now, let's move on to step 2, adding shadows. The easiest way to make an illustration pop is by adding shadows and highlights. Here's how to do it. Add shadows where needed, such as on the hands, neck, legs and clothes. Without shadows, the artwork looks flat. That's why this step is one of the most important part of this video. By the end of this step, you will see the big difference shadows make. I'm skipping the highlights for this artwork, but you can add them if you'd like. You can also use the gradient tool to create soft blended shadows which work well for smooth objects or a natural look. Here I am using the pen tool to create sharpest shadows because it's perfect for a flat style illustration with a modern graphic look. You can also use a slightly warm or cool color for a shadow instead of black when you want to create a more natural look. For example, if your object is blue, try a deep purple or navy for the shadows instead of plain grey. Also use shadows to show where an object touches a surface. I am placing a circle behind the character which is optional. We are done with step 2. Now let's move on to step 3, adding patterns. In this step, you can add patterns wherever you like, such as on the character's clothes or any objects. Here, I am adding a pattern only to girl stop. So, I will create a dotted pattern using just one circle. To learn more about patterns, check out my previous video where I explained the process with examples. Also, add lines to the girl's pants. Step 4. Finishing with details. In this step, we will add the final touches. For example, I am adding facial expressions to the girl's face. You can enhance your artwork by adding details that make it visually appealing. Adding a slight blush to the cheeks can also help convey positivity. And there you have it. With just a few adjustments, you can turn any flat and dull illustrations into a professional looking masterpiece. Amazing how much of a difference that makes, right? Give these tips a try and let me know in the comments which one helped you the most. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss my next illustration tutorial. See you next time. Thanks for watching.